Jamie, so Daggett is very well known for his beautiful and intricate hand carved wood sculptures. Parkinson's affects Daggett's nervous system, making it hard to control his moves. And as the disease develops, he says he won't be able to create art for much longer. So now he's switching up to a new medium to continue his love for art and inspire others to keep going. It's something that's been calling me my whole life, the Red Bluff area. Here in the Utah desert, deep among the juniper trees, this is where William Daggett finds his art. It took me two years to locate a nice spot that had some ancient trees. Known as a wood whisperer, Daggett searches for miles for the perfect piece. I kept an open mind when I found my first piece, but could see a bird in it. And then as I started looking for twisted pieces, if it talked to me, then I would cut that limb off and bring it home. I've always wanted to carve and I could see that I was getting what I wanted out of that particular wood. And I knew there was gonna be a different treasure in every single piece. Through an intricate process, Daggett carefully and deliberately takes each piece of wood and carves it by hand to create a beautiful masterpiece. And it's like giving birth. Every time you carve one, it even shocks me. For almost his whole life, Daggett turned nature into art, but his days of carving are coming to an end after being diagnosed with Parkinson's. It's very disappointing because I, would, I, I know there's a lot left in me that wants to come out, and I'm not sure physically how much longer I can do it. While in some ways his disease has been debilitating, Daggett says he is not letting it get the best of him. Now he's turning to a new medium, turning his pieces into silver and gold. The technology today, I can go ahead and create molds of anything that I sell, and recreate it and put it into precious metals. Through this, Daggett hopes he can continue sealing his artwork without needing to carve and hopes to be an example to others to not let anything get in the way of doing what you love. You can get through it. I would encourage anybody that has a disability just to do the best they can with whatever they've got to work with. His work is just so beautiful and we can actually go meet him. Yes, so if you want to go meet Daggett or see his artwork or even other artwork, mm -hmm. there is the Arizona Fine Art Expo happening until March 24th, mm -hmm. from now until March 24th. Yeah. So you can go. There is 76 artists there and over 124 studios. Yeah. And they have food too because you want to spend some time there. Go yes. meet some artists, have a snack, continue your day. It's yeah. a great event they do every year. And I know. That guy's very talented. I need to go. And again, I mean, yeah. his work is absolutely amazing. He's mm -hmm. looking to start selling that silver and gold pieces. Yeah. So go take a look. Mm -hmm. I mean, a wonderful story. And he really does care about his art and is so passionate mm -hmm. about Stunning it Stunning work. Seems like a nice man. Yeah. Michaela, yeah. thank you. Thanks, Jamie.